Good evening, Southeast Texas 12 News Storm Tracker. Christiana Ramos here. Pretty quiet night. Overall, this is a look at a roofing 911 Skycam notebook over downtown Beaumont. No rain today. We got some light drizzle and that humidity 86%. That tropical storm, Nicholas, now a depression tracking off towards the east, but it did not take the moisture with it. So that moisture will contribute to those low rain chances that we see the next couple of days, but they're low. So that's good news. We are seeing clouds out there. They will linger in the forecast into tomorrow with peaks of sunshine. So we'll get a little bit of sunshine, just not a lot. Current temperature 76 in orange right now, 77 in Port Arthur and Beaumont, 73 up towards the lakes area and low temperatures will be in the lower 70s, possibly the upper 60s in the lakes area tonight. So cool temperatures overall because of all that rain that we have gotten. So like I said, we're seeing uh, tropical depression Nicholas pushing off towards the east slowly. So that's why we're still seeing just a little bit of light drizzle in the forecast. It's because it's going very slow. So there is still rain bands um, that of course you can see on radar still in Louisiana. Heavy rainfall still pushing off towards the east into Georgia right now. Still some showers in Alabama and into the Florida panhandle. But overall pretty quiet night across the region. And that moisture is going to contribute to the rain that we do see increasing chances as we head into the later half of the weekend and into next week. This is going to interact with an upper level disturbance and we're going to get a cold front. So that's why we're not going to see temperatures in the 90s within the next seven days is what we're forecasting. So that's some good news with those showers. So as we head into uh, the overnight hours, just some light drizzle out there. We're going to go with about 20% coverage as we head into Thursday, maybe a 30%. And as we head into Friday, same deal Saturday. Sunday, things are going to change just a little bit. Uh, but again, if you just look at these rainfall totals, they aren't going any higher um, than about a quarter of an inch, maybe close to half an inch. The GFS that's going a little wet scenario. But overall, these are totals that we can handle within the next seven days. The euro is going about an inch and a half. GFS is going about 2.6 inches within the next seven days. So it's really not that much rainfall within our forecast. So we are monitoring out in the tropics a tropical wave pushing off the coast of Africa. Low chances of development invest 95L will be a tropical depression and uh, our next name storm by the weekend we are forecasting. And of course, anything that's pointing off to the Gulf a little bit scary, but I did put a stop sign there, so it's going to move away from us. This is going to move right now. Models are taking it pretty close to Puerto Rico, so this can possibly impact it. Again, it's too early to determine, but it is moving north northwest into the tropical Atlantic. Same deal for Inves 96L disorganized uh, circulation. Hurricane hunters are reporting that this is going to move into the mid Atlantic away from the southeast coast of the United States. So uh, as we head into tonight, again, light drizzle out there as we head into tomorrow morning, we will see some spotty showers 20 30 percent coverage overall dry forecast as we head into the later afternoon and evening hours with some clearing of those clouds and those temperatures not reaching any higher than the lower 80s out on the gulf of mexico tomorrow we'll slightly choppy seas one to two feet no advisories north winds 10 to 15 knots breezy out there tonight but overall it's going to be a good forecast into thursday light showers cooler temperatures and you can expect that within the next couple of days into the weekend increasing rain chances as we head into next week and those high temperatures are going to be just slightly below our average of the 90s.